Welcome to Empire Builders TV, your pathway to wealth, success, and building your business empire. In this program, we offer you step-by-step -step instructions on starting a business, growing an existing business, and building your business into an empire. So we hope you'll consider subscribing. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the darker side of entrepreneurship and examine those seven fatal vices that are guaranteed to put your business in an early grave. We're talking about the seven deadly sins of entrepreneurship. First mentioned in the book, The Inferno by Dante Alighieri over 700 years ago, the seven deadly mortal sins are a metaphor for the torture and misery Dante witnessed as he made his way down through the seven circles of hell. Now the seven deadly sins are lust, gluttony, laziness, wrath, greed, envy, and pride. Now by extension, in the business world, these seven vices can be divided into operational, tactical, and strategic sins. The operational sins are lust and gluttony. Now lust is present when the owner uses his or her power of position to pull the business in any direction he or she chooses. Gluttony is a tendency to hoard all authority and decision-making for yourself. Which brings us to the first deadly sin entrepreneurs often commit. Number one, assuming you know everything. Great entrepreneurs don't operate on their own assumptions. They operate on an insanely deep understanding of their customers. The moment an entrepreneur assumes he knows everything about his company, his employees, his market, and his technology, the business begins to veer off course and finds itself on a slippery pole straight to hell. And being arrogant is probably the greatest of all the deadly sins and is one of the quickest ways to sink a business. Apple's legendary founder, Steve Jobs, was just 30 years old, wildly successful, fabulously wealthy, and a global celebrity when it all came crashing down. He had revolutionized personal computing and created an iconic brand only to be forced out of the company he had built into a billion dollar colossus. Now Jobs was known to be a vicious taskmaster by the people who worked for him. That was part of his greatness, but he drove people too hard. Being gentle and polite was just not part of his DNA. In 1985, after a nasty power struggle, Apple's CEO booted Steve Jobs out of the company he had helped to start. Now fast forward to 1996 when Job returned. By then he had learned a very valuable lesson. Now the conventional wisdom here is that Steve Jobs was a great visionary but not a very good businessman. But in his second time at Apple, he wasn't just a visionary, he made a point of learning how to be a great businessman and a humble leader. Which brings us to our second sin. Moving too quickly is just not your thing. Everyone credits Thomas Edison with inventing the light bulb. But how many of us have ever heard of Joseph Swan? Well, it was actually Swan, an English physicist and inventor, who first brought electric light into the world. Swan is credited as an independent early developer of a successful incandescent light bulb. And he was the first person in history to light a home with an electric bulb. But because he failed to patent his ideas quickly, the more resourceful and aggressive Thomas Edison succeeded in beating him to the punch. The entrepreneurial lesson here to be learned? It's still true, you have to come up with something the world wants to buy. But the trick is to understand you're in a horse race and winners are the ones who get to the finish line first. So when that light bulb goes off in your head, be prepared to act on it quickly. Deadly sin number three, you're just a dreamer. You've always dreamed of starting your own company, but you just can't come up with a business idea, or the timing is never right, or the financial risk is always too high. You've had this fantasy for years, and you drive your family and friends nuts talking about it all the time. But nothing specific ever pops out at you that sounds all that promising. The corrective action here is obvious. Get off your ass and stop daydreaming and start doing some serious planning. Starting a business is an intimidating and daunting job, but you don't have to do it all by yourself 
and you don't have to have all the answers. All you have to do is start and the answers will come as you fail your way to business success. Amazon is one of the biggest success stories of the online industry. But before Amazon became a household name, Jeff Bezos, Amazon's founder, had failed at several business ideas. One of his most spectacular failures was an online auction site called Z Shops, a brand that ultimately failed. But refusing to give up, Bezos repurposed the idea behind Z Shops and turned a dream of online retailing into the reality of what would eventually become the Amazon empire. Deadly sin number four. You're not an expert in anything. The number one reason for entrepreneurial failure is the fact that many people don't know how to create, produce, or deliver anything the world needs or wants to buy. As a matter of fact, it's absolutely essential that you figure out in very practical terms how you're going to come up with a product or service that someone somewhere needs and is willing to pay for. To get you started, here are the three most important questions all entrepreneurs have to answer. Number one, what do you really love to do? What things and activities do you have a passion for? Number two, what are you really, really good at doing? What product or service can you expertly make and deliver? And finally, number three, what unmet needs or poorly met needs do you see in the marketplace? Is there a need in the marketplace for the products or services that you have a passion for and would be great at making and delivering? If you can't answer these three questions with a truly compelling answer, then do yourself a big favor and go to work for someone who has the answers themselves. And you can help make them richer. Deadly sin number five. You weren't born rich, but you sure as hell want to get rich. Let's say the thing that really turns you on is making a lot of money and you're not particularly choosy about how you make it. Then welcome to that very large group of future entrepreneur failures whose one passion in life is becoming a multimillionaire and who read somewhere that the best way to do that is to start their own company. The fact is, the successful entrepreneur's real obsession is to pursue his or her own sense of mission and purpose that's driven by a product or service they created. Money is simply the necessary fuel to accomplish this goal. Now take Elon Musk, the founder of PayPal and Tesla car company. Now Elon was paid 180 million from the sale of PayPal. Now he could have taken that money and bought his own island somewhere in the South Pacific and just retired. But Musk is a visionary who is passionate about his business creations. With the proceeds from the PayPal acquisition, Musk invested 100 million of his own money into his new company, SpaceX. He put up 70 million to start up the Tesla car company, and he put up the remaining 10 million into Solar City, a sustainable energy company. Now Musk was so passionate and committed to making his entrepreneurial dreams a reality, he was completely broke after these investments and he actually had to borrow money just to pay his rent. So if you're obsessed with making money just for money's sake, be warned that you might have a hard time finding startup capital for your business. Venture capitalists claim they can spot the get-rich-quick types in a minute, and they avoid them like the plague. Deadly sin number six, analysis paralysis. Now the devil may be in the details, but sometimes focusing too much on those details can send your business straight to hell. Analysis paralysis happens when business owners and managers focus too much on what-if scenarios. What if no one buys our product? What if there's a downturn in the market? What if we run out of money before we can produce our product? What ends up happening is absolutely nothing. An entrepreneur becomes paralyzed in his decision, often to the destruction of his company. Businesses succeed by making decisions and getting things done quickly. Quick thinking followed by quick execution is often the biggest driver of success. Startup entrepreneurs should go into business knowing that they're going to be wrong, 
a whole lot. They have to be flexible and willing to admit when they're wrong and when they don't know everything. Now, no one can predict the future, so an entrepreneur should be careful that they don't create a culture of punishment for mistakes. Your mantra should always be, if I'm never making mistakes, then I'm not trying hard enough. Deadly sin number seven. I want to talk about the biggest sin that prevents most entrepreneurs from starting their business and building an empire. And that's the sin of fear. You have a dream of starting a business, right? Well, starting a dream is always scary. And starting a business can be one of the most exciting and terrifying times in your life. But if you're serious about launching a business and reaping the incredible benefits of entrepreneurship, you'll need to manage those demons of fear and learn to overcome the feelings of imposter syndrome. It's terrifying if you have a big dream and you're just trying to figure out how and where to get started. Because just getting started sometimes involves change. And anytime you confront change, it's scary. Starting the dream ultimately represents changing how you see yourself and the world around you. So how can entrepreneurs respond to fear and defeat it? If you have a dream, you should cultivate a hunger for it. Feed the flame of your vision. Be willing to do whatever it takes to achieve your goal and confront your fears and see them for what they really are. As the famous American author Mark Twain once observed, do the thing you fear the most and the death of fear is certain. The majority of entrepreneurs will face one or perhaps all seven of these sins at some point in their business journey. And committing even just one of them can be the difference between life and death for your business. Do yourself a favor and make a list of these seven deadly sins and ask yourself, which of these sins am I committing or am I likely to commit when I start my business? I guarantee asking yourself these important questions is the most important decision you can make in sustaining the life of your business. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel in order to get more information that can help you succeed as an empire builder. This episode is dedicated to the memory of Michael Tim Newfeld, entrepreneur, friend, and fellow journalist. Good night, sweet prince, and may flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. This is Bill Clark for Empire Builders TV encouraging you to keep striving and to keep building your business empire.